hello everyone welcome to our channel i hope you all are doing fine today we are going to learn how to install eclipse in windows 10 before that if you haven't subscribed to our channel yet please kindly subscribe to our channel now and hit the bell icon to get notifications about our future tech videos so let's get started We can install Eclipse easily but in order to use Eclipse first we need to download the JDK and for that I will download Oracle JDK from Oracle's official site. So let's see how to download Oracle JDK. I'm going to the official Oracle website oracle.com and from here I'm going to the Java section. Okay now from here i am going to the technical details section and here you see there is an option named java ac and i am clicking here okay so now you can see that i am in the java oracle jdk download page and you will also land in the same page easily just you need to search jdk here and then then see it's very easy but i just want to show you guys the walkthrough from the official websites so here you can see option name jdk download and i'm clicking here and from here you can see there are many package for linux and mac os and for windows also and there are two package for windows one is windows x64 installer and other one is compressed archive uh, the installer version is the one that we are looking for and the compressed version is also same if you want to if you want to use multiple JDK in your system then compressed archive is very good choice for you but for the tutorial sake I am going to the installers option so here is the file okay you can see that my download is starting okay it's finished now let's install the file here is the file and you can see this this is the same file that i have downloaded here is the file and let's see how to install it okay so our installation process has been started next you don't need to change anything here and I suggest you can change here but uh, it's good to leave it as default okay the installation has been started yeah it's finished also so let's close it and let's see where's all the file that it has installed uh, from the C drive I'm going to the program files and here there will be there is a folder named Java here and here is the JDK version that I have installed okay so here is the version but before installing the Eclipse first uh, our target is to install JDK and we have installed it but we need to do another thing also and it's about setting up the environment variable in windows so let's see how to set up the environment variable for our jdk for this i'm going to this pc and from this pc you can see there is option in properties and i clicked it and from here there is option name advanced system settings i clicked it and there is a option name environment variables and i also clicked here now from here you have to set two variables for your JDK to work with Eclipse and also most other IDs and it's the standard way that Oracle recommends us to install JDK on this way. So now I have to go to the installer install directory the default directory that I have installed the JDK and this is the directory and I entered and from here you can you can copy the address of this directory and I am copying it as you can see I have copied it now I need to paste it somewhere but 
there is some rules i am clicking here i am clicking the new button here and from and there are two there are two text area one is variable name and other is variable values and in variable name i will give it java home and in the variable value i will give it the location also you can browse the directory but it's easier to copy the location and paste it and okay now you can see there is a new variable named java home and it's the location but our but our jdk installation has not finished yet we need to do another another variable setting and i am clicking on the path here here is the path and i am clicking on the edit button and from here i am clicking new so in new i need to paste some location but what is the location uh, you need to paste this bean directory's location and why you need to paste it i will i am i will clear it from here i am opening a cmd and if i type java you see java is not recognized as an internal or external command it's a problem for us uh, to resolve that problem we have to we have to paste the path of the bean directory and i am copying the location here and from and i'm clicking the new button again and here i pasted it okay so now you can click okay 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 it's done let's see our our environment setting up is finished or not it's working or not let's see let's try to check it i'm typing here java and see it's working okay so our oracle jdk installation has been finished and now we can jump into the installation process of eclipse okay so let's download the eclipse first for this i am going to eclipse official website and i am searching eclipse in google and here it's the eclipse official website www.eclipse.org and i am going here and from here i am going to the option more and here you can see that there is a option name eclipse id and also there is a option name download and i'm going to the download section and from here you can see there are many things you can see but we need this option download packages because we want to download some specific package as uh, eclipse is available for java and c plus plus and javascript also but we need only the java version and for that we are going to download packages option so that we can install the only only for the java version only for the only for work with java and here first we found that eclipse id for java developers you can already see that and there are three different download options for three different operating system uh, windows mac and linux but i am going for the windows option and i'm clicking here it's for 64 bit so i'm clicking here okay you can see that i have already i already have the download button here and i am clicking the download button okay so let's download it okay as you can see our download has been finished and let's install eclipse i'm going to the download file uh, here it is and let's the eclipse file and you can see it's a zip file i guess uh, yes it's a zip file and we need to extract it for extracting the zip you can install winrar you can use winrar or you can use the open source software uh, it's a very powerful software 7g and i am using i have both installed but i am using 7g here okay it's it's extracting yeah it's done so here is a new folder okay and in there is a folder named eclipse okay now uh if you double click on the eclipse icon here you can see it's an executable file uh, yes it's a exe formatted executable file if you double click here it will launch the eclipse and uh, for the eclipse you don't need to actually install it because as you can see we have downloaded the file in zip format and as we have downloaded the file in zip format we need to extract it and from here you can see that there is a, a executable file named eclipse and 
you can double click it to open anytime from anywhere and also there is a good thing that it's it's portable okay you can uh, you can carry it on your pen drive or your portable hard drives anywhere so let's open eclipse okay uh, it's asking for the workspace and I'm leaving it default you can customize it but I'm leaving it default launch okay let's wait okay guys so as you can see here's the Eclipse uh, finally we have installed it but let's try to run some Java code uh, some basic hello world code and see it runs or not as we have installed JDK also uh, it have to run so from file section from file section I'm clicking on Q new and I'm clicking on the Java project and I will give it a project name uh, take learners yeah take learners and we don't need to change anything here i'm leaving it at default next uh, okay finish as our project been created oh yeah it's created okay so let's create a class file here and i am naming it as take learners okay I'll, and I'm using the default template here for easy coding okay so let's 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 print hello world let's save it I'm pressing ctrl s and let's run it as you can see it's working let's try to run another take learners yeah it's working so we have reached the end of our video thanks for watching us hit the like button if you liked our content share the video with others don't forget to give us feedback in the comment section below and subscribe to our channel now if you are curious to learn new tech ideas